Good morning. I am currently getting ready. Today is a big day. I have not gotten my hair done in, I don't even know how long. Obviously it's not like, that sounded so dramatic to say like, this is a big day. I don't mean to make it sound like this is the best day of my life where there's not like more important things in life than getting your hair done. Obviously staying safe from a pandemic is one of those things that is more important from getting your hair done and following the regulations and guidelines given to us by our officials our health officials our political officials all these things so that's what i was doing and that's why i didn't get my hair done for so long but we are now at a point where we are allowed to get our hair done it is we have the green light from these officials and i am personally going to take advantage of that green light i'm sorry i'm looking for makeup I wanted to preface this video, we just moved, if anyone is unfamiliar with why everything is a mess and don't know where my makeup is, but I just wanted to preface this video by saying that my stance on the pandemic has always been quite serious, I, I take it quite seriously, I obviously think it's real, and I also believe for me personally, it is the most, it makes the most sense for me personally to follow the guidelines and rules and regulations that have been implemented by, as I mentioned, the officials that I have to look to in this situation. So, but now that it is, like I said, the green light to go do things like get your hair done, I, I'm okay with that. So, you know, that's just how, that's the guidance that I look to in this pandemic situation is the leadership of the officials who are dedicating much more time than myself on research even though like i research it as well i try to stay informed i'm not dedicating my life to it so okay anyways today's long story short is over and i'm just here to tell you guys that i'm sick of my like i don't even know what color my hair is is it brown my hairdresser says i have dirty blonde hair but i'm almost like thinking it's brown now. Either way, I really miss blonde. I love bleach. So that's just, that's just that. And I'm really excited to go get my hair done because you know when you just are feeling so dull and you're like, oh, I don't know what is going on. Like, I mean, I'm mostly just speaking to like all of the people who love bleaching their hair as much as I do. But I just need a refund and I'm just so excited that I get to go get my hair done and I wanted to share it with you guys because it's a moment, okay? I'm also very excited for all the hairdressers who are now able to go back to work and continue to do what they love. It's obviously looking different right now than it once did in their industry. So, for example, we're obviously all going to wear masks and then eyebrow situation is not going well. We're all going to be wearing masks and no blow drying. I think they just wash your hair. I mean, they dye it and then they wash it and then I think you leave. So that's different, but I do not mind that one tiny bit. I am just grateful that I get to go get my hair done. And I'm sure my hairdresser is grateful that she gets to work even though she doesn't get to blow dry and she loves blow drying. It's like her favorite part of her job. And she gives such good blow dries. So, I'm sorry, it's really hard to talk when I'm doing my eyebrows because I focus so much. Anyways, I just had to fill you guys in. This is a big deal. This is like the first public outing since the pandemic too. Like I've gone to the grocery store a few times with Clayton, but I haven't gone anywhere else. It's like a big deal for me, okay? All right, so, because today is such a big deal, going somewhere for the first time in months, I'm gonna pick out my outfit with you guys. It's pretty nice outside. Sometimes I get cold when I'm getting my hair done though. I should wear something white so that the bleach doesn't mess it up. Something white and comfy. I don't really like that shirt anymore. I'll wear this top, maybe. And I'm gonna start taking tags off my clothes guys because I have a weird obsession about doing that. Okay so I think I'm gonna wear this top with biker shorts. I'm gonna go change and we'll get going. I changed. Is this is like not a good angle. I'll show you guys. But I'm just wearing these biker shorts from <laughs> Forever 21. Just like super comfy. 
And then this like oversized graphic tee long sleeve from PacSun. And I figured it would just be like comfy and chill to go get my hair done. And then I'm gonna throw on Air Force Ones and a face mask, obviously. And that's what I was gonna tell you guys about before I head out there is the reason I wanted to do this video, you guys like seeing my hair appointments anyways and what I do to my hair. So I'm always happy to share that, but also, this is a different hair appointment than any I've ever been to since it's the first one since COVID. So kind of the way it's going to work is we're all going to wear masks and the capacity in the salon is down like I think more than 50% or something. So there's not going to be a lot of people in there and each stylist only works every other week instead of every week. There's just like a bunch of things. You have to do a questionnaire and a disclosure before you get there. You can't bring anyone with you. You have to text when you arrive. They recommend you wait in your car until your chair has been fully sanitized. There will be no waiting in the lounge. Your face covering. Your temperature will be checked. If you have a fever, we will reschedule your appointment. You're, con you're signing a consent form. No drinks or beverages will be given to you. They used to give you like wine or water, or whatever you wanted. And hand sanitizer will be conveniently placed throughout the salon and disinfectant will be actively used by our staff to ensure a clean environment. If you need any product, ask for assistance. We will schedule your next appointment at checkout and process your fees with the card we have on file or Apple Pay. So, you know, everything is hands-free. Everything is very sanitized. The scale of everything as far as like people going in and out is so much lower. The time we're gonna spend together is shorter. So, you know, pretty much every aspect of the experience is going to be different. So I wanted to share with you guys kind of what that's gonna look like. And yeah, I'm so excited to go. I mean, these are strange times for sure, but I'm excited to get my hair done and to see my hairdresser. So let's do it. On my way. It's really hard to talk with this one. Yeah, so, on the way to the salon. Big things are happening. Okay guys, we are here and- Masked up. Yes, uh, <laughs> we did all the protocol and now we're gonna get started. So I basically just want to be like blonder and brighter with like chunky highlights in the front. So Aubrey will tell you the game plan. So what we're gonna do is like a heavy face frame. I'm gonna take it pretty far, like to right about here. Sometimes I take it a little lower. But because she wants to have more of an intense look, we're gonna take it back. I'm gonna do a good heavy highlight. We're gonna do just a few coils along here, just because this is so rooty. I wanna break it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna balling off your hands. Really simple. And, and tell them what color is my hair. It's blonde. <laughs> it's just dark blonde. We've confirmed. Yes, we've confirmed. I was like confused. I was like, who yes. am I? Do I have brown I know. hair? I don't know. It's like an ashy blonde. That's why, because like if you look, and you can't really see it that well in the video. If you look, you can see it's like that ashier tone, and that's why I'm gonna explain. I think this is easy. This is good because now people get it. Yeah. When you have this natural tone, that's why she can get so blonde and so icy so easily. When you have warmer tones in your hair, or you're not a natural blonde, that's why you combat that, where it's not as hard. She's so blessed. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> Shampoo, and then I'm gonna do the purple toning shampoo. Okay. 
No, I mean, I do this on you just because, again, you're naturally very light, and I feel like, sometimes I feel like when I tone people that are naturally blonde, it kind of doles it out too much. Like, I like to kind of lift the hair to the level it should be at and let it live, as opposed to, you know, there are some people that require toners, but sometimes I feel like for my natural blonde, it actually can dole it out sometimes and not make it look like what it really is. So, that's just my opinion. Guys, I'm out of the sink and we're just gonna do like a, a little patch blow dry basically to check the color and then I'll be gone. Yeah. yeah! Okay, so I just got the little front bits blow dried, so my hair is like seriously still sopping wet, but just so I could see the color and make sure um, that it was what I was going for. And it looks so, so good. So I'll put Aubrey's handle and everything obviously for you guys. She's so good, she's been doing my hair for years and she's really good with blonde and I'm just really, really happy about it. So one of the best parts of the day was like, this is a small thing to get your hair done in life but since COVID happened, it's just um, changed our perspective on a lot of things. And to be like so excited and happy about something so small as like getting your hair done is a silver lining in it, I feel like. So that was like one of the best things that's happened <laughs> in a long time and I'm just happy about it. So I had to share with you guys and that was my first post-COVID outing pretty much and I'll do another come to the salon with me in a couple of months or something if I decide to do something crazy or if something crazy happens. What's so, gonna be crazy? Well just like if I chop my hair off again or like change the like color or anything like that. So that's it for now. Right, our kitchen table is here today. That's the truck so go downstairs and see how it turns out. The table's here. It's in a box, but okay. I guess. You need to wait for a bird smell. Uh, yeah, it is pretty. Oh my god, does it smell so bad? Oh my god, I hate it. Oh god. Good morning, Delaney. Wait, do you smell that? Yeah, I do, but I'm not. I'm not ready to gag it out. Uh, it's gonna be an easy assembly, so I think we'll. I'll do that here in a bit. Here's a little assembly kit. Should be pretty chill. But yeah, we're excited. We will have a table. This is going to be amazing. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Wait, it's here. awkward though. Yeah, it's super awkward. That's why I'm going to gadget. This is what I learned. I don't need to just use the whole things that come in the box. I can just completely cut the box open enough. I've seen that somewhere. Maybe there's a one of our rooms. Still driveway. It was like when the buffet got delivered. Oh, you know, that's how I feel nice, actually. Come on out. Did he just Come on, little guy. Wait, baby, is that the top or the bottom? This is the top. Okay, so we don't have to flip it over. Here we go. There it is. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's from, uh, what's the ride at Disneyland? Splash Mountain? Yeah, Splash Mountain Log. Splash Mountain Log. Oh, my. Hey, it matches the chairs good. The cane. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah. Good. It looks good. Once we have a rug, right now it's like a lot because yeah, the floor because is the wood. Floor, but yeah, if there's a rug underneath it, it it's gonna be nice. Because right now it almost looks a little I mean right now it doesn't look like bad. No, but it's just too much wood. Like there's it's so much too wood. much wood. Like concrete would look better right now or something, but once there's um a rug. I think we'll be really good. Should I slap the top on real quick? Okay. 
You just can't wait. Mine as well. If, are you gonna like screw it in and stuff? No. Okay. I'll do that after. I'll have to see. We are just too antsy. We can't wait. Can't wait. We've been waiting a whole week for this. Our whole life. Our whole life. Actually, we've been waiting like three years because we haven't had a dining room table. Look at that. Okay. We, we have a table. Oh my god. I think the table matches the chairs pretty well. I think so. I mean, it's not a 100% identical match. No. But I think it's pretty good. I feel like it's going to be impossible to get a 100% identical. Oh yeah, cute. And then like a little flower ring for I don't know, I think it's, a, I think it's good. It's a nice size. Yeah. It's better than a square table of that size, you know what I mean? Yeah. Cause, cause you, you could like kind of, I mean, it'd be a little tight, but if you wanted to, you could probably get a couple more. Yeah, no, I wouldn't leave more chairs here, but if you needed yeah. guests, you could fit But even chairs. then, like, what the, like we said, like it's not gonna happen often. Yeah. Hey, does, I don't like when the chair's not straight. And if it does, we can, uh, uh, so that one off the dark. Yeah, I need to fix it. Nice size. <laughs> yeah. It's big still, like, sitting on this table. Yeah. I like it. I guess I'm still considering a concrete one, though. Mm-hmm. Because I just realized with wood, like, it's like really hard to match it to other woods. Like, mm -hmm. we have that wood, that wood, this That's wood, wood, the floor, and now a table. It's just like a lot, but it might be the fine. Chairs. Yeah. It might be fine once we have a rug and stuff. But I guess concrete is just like a little bit easier because it's just like, it's a different texture, so you don't have to like match yeah. it to something else perfectly. Yeah. I feel like it. But now we have something, you know? Yeah. Like for, it, it was kind of just like, we need to get something. Yeah, and it might be the one. Yeah. I like the shape I see what you're saying, though, with all the different woods. Yeah. It's kind of like, whoa. It's hard, but... It's not, like, offensive right now. It's not like, oh my god, this is not match at all. This is crazy. Yeah. It's just like, we just have to make sure that we think it matches good enough. Mm -hmm. I love the shape, though. Uh -huh. I love that the base is like really thick like that. Yeah, me too. Me too. I, like, I, like, I like the design. Okay. Yay! These smell like coffee. Yep. I want to see what a rug looks like under our table. So we're just going to move our studio rug right now down there to catch a vibe basically. Um, we just want to see like what a rug does in that space and also this is a five by eight rug. I think we need to measure that one more time. Okay. It might be five by seven. Yeah, might be five by seven. But oh kind Lord. of to get a good idea of like size and I don't know design. So let's, you know, let's see what happens. Just kind of a process. It's fun though. Yeah. Look at this little guy carrying around a rug. Cute little guy. Cute little guy. Oh, other way? I think so. So turn it? I think. I think. That's fun, too. Center it, I guess, with this window, right? Mm-hmm. Well, like, these should be even, right? 
There's a mouth floor. Yeah. Let me just go a little. Do you think that's the right direction? I think that's the right direction. I think so. Okay. If we're doing a rectangle, yeah. I think so. Wait, should we just do it the other way really fast? To just see? to see. Yeah, to me that seems a little weird because then your chandelier, like, I think it should go the other way because the chandelier is going to be going this way. I think it goes the way this way, actually. Really? But then the chandelier? Mm hmm the, I just didn't like how close it was to the couch the other way. I like how it's more of like a walkway now. Okay. I don't know, though. I could be wrong. Where's I think when you have a chandelier over it, like, it's like... They're not going the same direction. Well, that's how it is right now. That doesn't bother me. But this, what bothers me about this is just that it's like not, uh, not centered. Yeah, which that's going to change. But like, it doesn't bother me that they go. I think what I also like, I like how this is going the same way as the couch right now. Mm, yeah. It's kind of like, it's like adding to that flow. Yeah. Whereas I feel like the chandelier doesn't have to flow as much. It's almost like an accent instead. Like it can be like, a contrast. Mm -hmm. You look like a little like troll that lives under a marsh. Uh, <laughs> mushroom. A mushroom. A mushroom. This is my mushroom. What do we think? Honestly, though, it doesn't look bad. Like, I think it should be a little bit bigger, but I think it's so much nicer. Come look at it. I feel like it looks so nice with the red. Yeah, it does. The table definitely works when there's a rug there. If we want to keep that table. You don't have to squeeze your chair that aggressively, I feel. I don't All like right. when it's like so tight to the table. It looks nice. What do you think? I think it looks nice. The chairs look so good. All right, in honor of our dining table getting here, we thought it would be fun to do a little cooking with you guys in the new house. We haven't done any of that so far yeah, on a vlog. So we thought this would be the perfect time and some laundry. <laughs> I'm still rocking my Lord of Dogtowns. She dog. also, I was supposed to be wearing this today. And when we left the house, First step out of the house. <laughs> so yeah. Stick it for me. I am a surfer boy today. What are we making for dinner? Burgers. Gonna put the barbecue to use tonight. We're trying a new kind of burger. Yes, we are. What is the brand? Sweet Earth? Yeah. Sweet Earth Vegan Burger. Their chicken is like one of our faves, so we're gonna try out their burgers. And is that gonna be the first time we use the barbecue? Uh, no, I do corn one time. Okay, so we're gonna use the barbecue, which is fun, and then I'm gonna make some like fresh herb truffle potatoes and asparagus too. So we'll show you guys what we get into. And I'm gonna start on the potatoes. So I just got some small golden potatoes, and I'm just gonna boil them. Our pots don't live there. So the plan is I'm gonna like parboil these potatoes and then I'm going to fry them in some olive oil, some truffle oil, I'm gonna add some onion and garlic to that and then I'm gonna put some fresh herbs in at the end and it's just gonna be like a little smashed potato bread, not mashed, smashed. And then for the asparagus, what I like to do with that is I'm going to chop the ends off because they always taste too tough in my opinion. You really need new cutting boards because this bright green color is not the vibe. And we've had them since we were in college. So they're very banged up. And then... I like to make these like still a little bit crunchy, so I kind of steam them a tiny bit in the pan and then just fry them in a little bit of vegan butter or olive oil. I'll just get those like ready, but I'll do those last because they won't take long. And then I'll get out those burgers. I think they're frozen. Shoot, babe, do you think it's okay the burgers are frozen? 
Okay. They look good. They're made out of pea protein, which is always good. They have 26 grams of protein per patty. Whoa, that is a lot. All right, it's time to barbecue, but I don't know if you guys have seen the backyard with the lights. Got these hanging lights. And then, whoa, <laughs> that was scary. And then these lights that shine up into the tree. Very nice atmosphere. Okay, but I've been heating up the grill. Got the grill heating up. Got the patties here. Got my new spatula for the grill. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the patties on the grill here. They say to cook them for about like 12 minutes. So see how that goes. It is time to mash potatoes. Show you guys, Clayton said I'm supposed to do this with a cup. All right, so I just boiled them for like 10, 15 minutes probably. I was gonna mash them with a fork, but Yep. Look at that. That's amazing. It's like popping potatoes. It's actually like popping those seaweed things. Yeah. Okay. No cheese on your burger. I'm gonna ask for the third time. Third and final. What kind of cheese are you having? American. No, I don't want that. Babe, this, these potatoes already taste so good. Let me try. I already tried. Oh, just like the creamy yellow ones? I love that. Mm. Burger time. Burger time. Burger time. All right, burger's already looking good. I'm gonna give them a little flip ski here. Ooh, look at that. Ah, look at those. Wow. Okay. Chopping up some white onion to also go in with the potatoes. I like it super, super thin. Frying these up. Mix this in. I'll put garlic in at the very end. Garlic salt. Some hot dots. Crushed pepper. I freaking love pepper. I need to do this all day. I'm gonna put some dried rosemary. So this is what the potatoes look like. Spices, onions, and then I'll add the garlic at the end because I don't want to burn it because it tastes bad when you burn garlic, so. Okay, they're getting nice and crispy. I need some more oil. We just got this truffle extra virgin olive oil at TJ Maxx. The bottle is so cute and this little cork. Also, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of this more for like flavor. For the asparagus, I just let it kind of steam for a little bit. So yeah, let it steam. I don't want it to be too soft. So try add the oil now, get it a little crispy, put some garlic in there. We'll be good. Potatoes are looking good, getting crunchy. Wow, look what Delaney's created here. That looks like some Pinterest. Just add some fresh parsley and some then- Pinterest. After I put the garlic in this asparagus, mm -hmm. I zested a little bit of lemon on top and a yes. little bit of lemon juice. Zested. Those look really good. These look unreal though, I'm like, wow. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Shuffing up some burgers. Burger King, I need me that outfit. Hmm? I need me the outfit. The Burger King outfit? I don't remember. Remember the guy? Not really. Must have spent as much time at Burger King as you did. It was commercials. We're gonna light our candles. Love a little candle with dinner. Every night now, babe. Wow, how romantic. Right? Everybody please admire Clayton's avocado. Once before. <laughs> no, you aren't. You make cute burgers. We have to unveil your burger though because it's in a little lettuce hut. Cute. Love that. Got a big day planned today. I got my I'm wearing the bucket hat. Don't wear the bucket hat unless there's a big day going on. And Delaney doesn't wear overalls unless there's a big day going on. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Here's Delaney rocking the overalls. What are you doing today? I am about to go on a walk and then I am going to the flea market for the first time in three months. 
probably four months. Yeah. Five months. Five since yeah, February. Gonna go, I want some vintage tees. Maybe some decor for the house. Ooh. Ooh. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun, baby. Let's go see what we can find. All right, we're heading out to the flea market. This is my outfit, Clayton's polo, overalls, platform converse, this mask that Molly made me, gold jewelry, Yankee's hat. Made it into the flea. Yeah, that lamp can be cool, huh? It's swaying in the That is massive, look how far out that one is. That's huge. thing is cool. I like the blue chairs, too. I do not like those at all. That's honestly not even my shade of blue. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of periwinkle. It is, it's too periwinkle for Yeah, look at these teas. Yeah, those are cool. What do you use those for? Put them in the corner on the ceiling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, yeah. This is like That is pretty similar. Actually, looks even older. Yeah. Oh, yeah, these are cool. Those are cool. Those. Look at this orange chair. That is so orange. That's a nice vanity. Can you scoot back? I can't really see. It's pretty cool. I think it fits good. All right, we've been looking for a tall, skinny gold mirror. We found this one that has feathers on it, but. Take those off. Yeah. And it's missing a little piece right here, but it's. Maybe that's cool about it. I mean, it's enough for me to see my outfit. Is enough for you? Oh, yeah. It's def really. Well, I mean, I can see. I can't see my head. Well, you can see your head in the bathroom here. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely like so unique. Uh, hey, kid. What you got? <laughs> this is the fun part of buying large things at the flea market. You want me to put the seat down, babe? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're back from the flea market, and we're gonna show you guys all that we got. I'll show you guys a couple things right now while he's grabbing the tripod. The first thing that we picked up was this little, I don't even know what these are called, like a bottle, a canister, this lid. Just like the cutest thing. Molly actually found this and she was like, this looks like you. And I'm like, oh, yep, that's cute. Let's get it. So I think I'll put this on the bar cart. I kind of want to collect like more of these, the bigger ones and stuff, and just fill the bar cart with those because it looks so nice. And then... We got these pendant lights that I'm thinking of putting in the studio, like in a corner at different heights from each other. So like that kind of cute, cute. Can we see the vision? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. And it's such a good price on those. It was only $40 a piece. So you can't beat that. Like I would look for those online and I would get nowhere near that. And they would not be that unique either so very happy about that and then i'll show you guys the mirror that we got too really fast in the bedroom all right so everything's a mess but we wanted a full length mirror in our bedroom because we don't have one and this is where we get dressed so it's just kind of nice to like be able to see your outfit before you walk out of the room and we're going to be upgrading to a king bed so that's all going to get pushed more that way so we needed something really narrow and it was hard to find something online and we stumbled upon this vintage brass beauty and pretty much felt like we couldn't live without it so here it is in our room and we only paid 160 for it which I feel is a really good 
price. It's vintage brass. It's really heavy. Wouldn't find anything like this online. So super happy with this. Okay, and then I'm back here. <laughs> the rest of the stuff we got is all clothing. So we got this Tommy Hilfiger shirt. I was a Tommy girl growing up. She was so a Tommy girl, so this is perfect. Were you a Tommy boy? I don't think so. I was a wild boy. I was a Harley girl. Mm, I'm not sure what I was. But yeah, so this is really, really soft. Yeah. I mean, they're always, the vintage tees always are just yeah. nice and comfy. And then we got this, like, cut off Harley tee, which we haven't seen one like this. It's not actually cut off either. It's just like a, it's like a wide tank. Wide like, tank. it's like a vest style. Almost like the vest, yeah. Well, it's kind of like a different, it's like kind of like a sweater material, very yeah. light sweater material. It's really unique, I feel, for a Harley shirt, and it's, it's nice and cool. oversized, which is like the most important part of buying vintage t-shirts for us. Baldwin Park, represent. Where is that? I think it's in LA. Yeah, so we thought that was cool. And then this is a Nike windbreaker that we got, and the back is so cute. So cute. I think you might be able to wear this, or is it too small so. for you? I think I might be able to. Just a nice, like, casual frog. Really good for you. I love the back. You want to try it off? Yeah. Those? Okay, These we are got... for you? No, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. We can both fit in these. Literally. I currently don't know how to sew, but I want to learn and, like, do some stuff with these things. Do some stuff. So I got this I'm men's... Nervous. Um, suit set, and it's really oversized for me. As you can see, I don't know. I feel like yeah, I see you wear something like this before all the time. Yeah, it's maybe not, I won't even cut this. That's too out of control. But I want to sew this so that it's like cropped one of those like cropped crop vibe blazers, but like super boxy still. I think it would be cute. I think you would get that. But I need to learn how to sew first. And then for the pants, like they're ginormous, but I think if you just made the waist really small and you still left the pant like that. would be cool, yeah, like really balloony. Yeah, like maybe it will be cute. I don't know who I think I am I'm going to like sew all this stuff when I've never sewed before, but. Yeah, with what time? Yeah, so yeah. We got projects though. That was. In case we ever need a project on a rainy day. That was a successful. Yeah. Thrift, thrift We got good session. stuff there. Yeah. So I wanted to share with you guys because we haven't been thrifting in months due to COVID and everybody likes a good thrift haul and we found some really unique good pieces that we're happy with. So. Mm -hmm. Good job.